The problem we hear a lot is I've got one room, one or two rooms, but usually one room that just seems to be hotter than the rest. You know, the rest of the house cools just fine. And I've just got this one room. It's always an issue. And the first thing I want to say that you may or may not know is that is more times than not a ductwork issue. Something is wrong with either the sizing, the installation, or a problem like maybe the duct has become compromised something is wrong with the ductwork maybe it needs to be you know sized properly maybe it needs to be installed better or something's happened that you know a critter is cut into it or it's fallen down or something is wrong there etc so i want to go through a few practical solutions that may fix your issue without having to get crazy with like, such as having a pro rip everything out and install it better, right? You know, if the ductwork is undersized, doing some of these things I'm about to go over may fix your issue without having to have that pro run another duct to that room or, you know, size the duct larger or whatever the actual issue is. Now I will say that if there is an actual problem with the ductwork, such as it's come unattached and fall in, or a critter has you know, cut into it or something wrong like that, these solutions I'm about to go over would not necessarily fix that. But in the event that it's just simply a ductwork sizing issue or something like that, some of these solutions may help you take care of this issue without having to get too crazy and spend a bunch of money. Let's get into it. Three ways to fix a room that's hotter than the rest that may not break the bank. The first is something we've talked about in a few other videos, and it's almost essentially something similar to a lot of the solutions that pros can do. And that is a lot of pros will come in and install like manual dampers, something you can open and close more times than not, close it a little bit to other rooms and push more velocity to the room that's hotter. You know, if it's an AC mode, get more oomph, more air being pushed into that room and they'll install manual dampers to add static or restrict the airflow so you're getting more velocity, more airflow to that room. My fix to piggyback off of that thought process or idea would be to go through to some of those registers that are getting more airflow. So those rooms that are cooling faster, go to those and most registers, if floor or ceiling registers, will have a way for you to kind of close that down a little bit. Now I would recommend without you know getting too crazy, if you close them entirely, when you already have a restrictive duct system that's undersized, you could be causing some issues such as the evaporator coil not getting enough airflow across it and it freezing up and so on. But just like the idea of installing those manual dampers, closing those floor registers a little bit could restrict the air enough to push that air to that room. So that's the first solution, just as simply adjusting some of your floor registers so you get better airflow to rooms that are not getting enough air. The next solution would be turning on your thermostat, the fan from the auto to the on position or in some cases to the circulate position. And the idea here is even when the AC turns off, so imagine your thermostat is in a room and it says, hey, I'm hot, you know, you've got it set at 72, but I'm now 74 in here, I need to turn the AC on and it turns the AC on. Once it reaches that temperature and turns off, you've still got this room over here that's hot. The AC is now turned off, the rest of the house is cool, the area that the thermostat in is now reached 72, but you still got this hot room over here. Turning that fan to the on position will allow that air handler to continue to circulate air in that space. And I don't think that's gonna fix all issues when you have homes with this ductwork issue, but in some homes, just turning that fan to the on position may allow you to circulate enough air to make that room a little more comfortable. Now, I will say I have heard stories where an AC mode, especially in certain areas of the country where it's more humid, turning the fan to the on position can make the humidity levels go up. And the thought process is when the evaporator coil is condensating and it's got all this you know, moisture that it's removed from the air and it's now sitting in that drain pan, now you have the fan continually pulling air across that area, being the drain pan and coil, and it's now going to make that water re-evaporate back into the air. So I just wanna throw that out there. If you do switch that fan to the on position or circulate position, and you start to see humidity issues, 
that may not be your fix. And then finally, the third solution to this issue of you having, you know, a room that's hot and that is inserting some of the products that we're starting to see where folks have these insert register fans where they have these fans that they can kind of insert into, you know, you pull your register up and you put that fan down in there. Different brands do it different ways. Some of them, the fan is actually built into the register. So you remove the one that's there and then reinsert the new one with the fans already attached. However, the product works, we're seeing these fans that, you know, in that, imagine that room that is still hot and now the AC has reached temperature, it's shut off, it's made the house cool again, all but that one room. This fan will continue to pull that air through that vents from these other rooms. So imagine you've got these supply ducts that were blowing cool air into this space. The AC shuts off. Now you've got this one fan in this room that's hot pulling that cool air back into that room and making it more comfortable. So again, we've seen different types. They have different products out there. Hopefully one of these solutions might fix your issue. I will say if none of these issues fix your issue, you might need to get a pro in there to find out what exactly is the issue here. Are we dealing with undersized ductwork? Are we dealing with compromised ductwork? Are we dealing with a zoning issue? All of those could be the root problem in all this. Let me know your thoughts. Did one of these solutions fix your issue? I'd love to hear about that. Please comment down below. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.